Well, we were on our way down to GIE, but we had to stop by an outlet mall. We're contractors, not Kardashians. Bobcat's got ads on the ground. Pretty cool. Reputation. You can ride on it. Or something. We're very proud to be because we've been using it for six or eight months now. And they've brought us on their team. Ooh, I'm, I feel ridiculous wearing that around. But uh, it's going to be a good event. Hopefully I can get you some video from it. If nothing else, we're making YouTube videos on it. It explains everything from the lead right on through to the profit is pretty important. We need to have a system for each stage of this our time and material. When somebody hires a home builder to build a five or eight or $10 million home, kind of share that process quickly, whether it's for snow or maintenance or. Here we are at Hardscape North America, Green Industry Expo, shooting video stuff. First place we walked in the door, you, you gotta see this. All right, and it's Miss Britt on an SK3000. Look how ridiculously, absurdly large this machine is. Holy Moses, that is a big machine. Since we're now in the show, we're gonna go through some rapid fire uh, stories and stuff like that, try to bring you the most value uh, quickly. So this is gonna be some pretty fast stuff here. Here we go. Bobcat has released their new line of tractors, small and medium. A cat gas-powered wheelbarrow to show off the Kubota mini skid steer loader. Well, they didn't care that's not here. This stuff is the future of everything in labor. Robotic sidewalk clearing machines, probably pre-programmed to uh, coordinates and stuff. Get used to this, figure out how you can invest in it or profit from it. The red tracks on this ASV, if nothing else, are pretty cool. Right, Brit doesn't think they're that cool. Never mind, delete that last this little uh, gas-powered snow shovel, that's neat, I like it. All right, so paver mechanization, paver handling specialty tools. And of course, uh, Hardscape Magazine, subscribe at hardscape.com, hardscapemagazine.com, there you go. Our friends here at PolySweep, darn good sand, you're right. Ugly, ugly, awful hats. Good Lord, guys, come on, sheesh. Maybe they put all their time and R&D into their sand and not into their hat styling. I don't know. Can't all be as good looking as this, I suppose. Uh, here's a cool thing from the folks at Bomag. This is a essentially a poly pad that is integrated into the reversible plate compactor. For, and this thing is dedicated to paver compaction. This is an 8,000 pound centrifugal unit here. Uh, but a neat concept like this a lot. It's just a really expensive, dedicated machine would be the only thing if you weren't dedicated to doing really large installs. They've got a big sheep's foot trench roller here, robotic control, jumping jacks, of course. Cool. And I like that. It's neat. This is a really cool thing to have in a booth here, but this gentleman here. I'm going to try to stop by every couple days, every day here and see what the progress is on this. But what a neat thing. Something I wish I had. So this dude, uh, check out their Instagram here. But the dude is carving this out. I'm just going to give him a mention because I love this dude's passion for carving stone. It's super cool. So we're going to do some updates on this through the week. But in about 30 man hours on that side and uh, whatever that would probably take the balance of. So here is something that is, I would say almost a competitor to. Now, they use these geocells for, in other projects. But uh, interesting that they're advocating this as a replacement for ba base depth. I like that concept. I don't know that I agree with dense graded aggregate in there, open graded stone, because you won't be able to compact those cells, but I could definitely see the benefit or the value in doing that with open graded. I, I like where that's going. Now, the using dense graded base in there, I don't think you're gonna be able to get compaction through there once that, once that rattles down past, the, the compactor's gonna ride over top of these. So I don't think this is a great course of action on this application here, but what I would do is use all open graded stone, like a number eight, like this, all the way through it, and I think you'd get great, uh, you know, great, solid, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Another geosynthetic base type, right? I like this. And so, doing all open graded stone, again, go with a number nine stone, but I like this concept. One of those things you're like, oh yeah, duck. They sell these to use just as parking, you know, grass paver parking. So, using it as to thin up your base, I like this. So, a uh, big interior, this is great. They're going to do an arboriculture uh, training event here. 
pruning and climbing in, in the building. Isn't that awesome? So here's following up. This is a manufacturer of this stuff, but that's what that stuff, you know, the concept is for gravel parking or for even turf parking areas. You could do that. So uh, why not lay pavers over it? Duh. Stop by to see my friends at Mulchmate here. They got these things, the leaf burritos. I can't even go into the spiel of what those are. Stop by and check them out here at Mulchmate. What's up? Britt likes this, um, but it's a good to show the horizon profile of uh, this, on this case, a permeable install job. Now they use number nine gravel on their uh, setting bed. We want angular stone in there, of course, but nonetheless, like that explanation. Here I am at the Unilock booth. I'm going to be here hanging out, hosting kid contractor uh, hour at, well, Britt and I both, so if that's a bigger draw, but we will both be here. But her and I both will be here at 1 o'clock Thursday tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Thursday tomorrow for a kid contractor meetup in the 25,000 row. So, so come and see us. One of these, you don't even know it, check them out. At, here at the Smart Level booth, as you folks know, we have that and a Zip Level. We'll be posting a full review on those at some point here. 700 bucks, field rep rep repairable, which this gentleman just gave me the crash course on how to do that, which is super easy and super awesome. You need one. Now here's a, a chamber these folks are promoting and uh, they say it's even vehic vehicular rated but only needs to sit on a couple inches of open graded base and then you lay these chambers all on, on top there for permeable installs. Interesting concept. If you don't mind your phone being blown to pieces, get some blades from Blades Direct and they'll call you 10,000 times a day for the rest of your life. I don't know what it is with all the girls here with white shoes at the show. Uh, or, oh, wait. <laughs> By the way, we are hanging out at the Echo Means Business social media booth here. Phone charging stations, beer here currently, and uh, a ton of your favorite people. So check it out. Come by. And in case you can't find the booth, we're here across from the tank. Uh, battle tank manufacturing, just so you know, in case you need one. Laser grading uh, precision. Man, that's cool. Crazy device. I've never seen one of these leaf acts on like a traditional tractor, so that's kind of kind of unique or interesting. Running through the Echo booth here, the PB-8010 monster blower thing is craziness. All sorts of stuff. They got a fast pitch uh, cage. That's a good idea. I like that concept. I might have to wing a 40 mile an hour through there. These pull plows uh, is a pretty cool concept. Pulling behind a truck. Check out this catch basin we need to repair, Britt. Look at that. Totally failing. Oh, jeez. Here on 4th Street. But the cool thing about that, because it's pavers, you pick that up, you, re you pack in new base around that thing, you get it to proper pitch, and you don't have to pour new concrete. That is the benefit of segmental. Paving systems. We build our facility in a couple years. I'm getting an old painting. I'm gonna get a painting of myself like this, I think, and put it right over the entry. What do you think of that, Britt? No. Yes, no, I no, think. No, no. Heck yeah, man, a party mower. This is what I'm talking about. Let's hit up the frat house, let's go. Take all of the things. Uh, these powered wheelbarrows are crazy. This machine is the wildest thing ever. I can't, I have trouble seeing utility in that design, but I don't know. The outdoor X. Everybody starts their stories out with, all right, or so. That drives me crazy when I say that. This is the outdoor exhibition area. It is legit and craziness. Stop by the Toro booth here to see our buddy Naylor Taliaferro at the, his Toro takeover of the Toro booth. So. There's those Altaz mowers. Those are pretty wild. Good for slopes, I guess, and off-road and more bush hogging type mowing. Pretty neat. These Husqvarna robotic slope mowers. Figure out how to embrace this stuff, folks. I am telling you, this is the future. And then, so there you've got a heavy duty off-road, you know, slope mower, robotic, the future. So I just ended up doing this basketball score game here at the Purcell booth. 95, you got to beat my score. Call it out. Let's see it. As you folks know and Britt knows, I'm a baller. So let's see you beat that. This thing is always cool. If you're putting uh, fences and posts behind retaining walls, this is one of the products you want to look at using something to this effect here 
but that's what that goes in behind your retaining wall. That's what uh, gives you structural uh, capacity. Reminder today, one o'clock at the uh, Unilock booth, kid contractor meetup. Stop by and hang out for a minute and get a shirt, get a kid contractor shirt. Legal department, AKA Brittany, also said to say, while supplies last. <laughs> this booth is always cool. It's entirely faux plants. Uh, isn't that so cool? I love that. Entirely fake plants. We stopped by the Skag booth for Blake Albertson's uh, meet and greet. He's still got it, man. Look at the line. Holy cow. Congrats, Blake. That's awesome, dude. I run into my buddy Brian Ring everywhere. I keep having to blow him off because I'm talking to everybody. I know I'm such a jerk. But hey, Brian, what's up? So you probably saw this on like a million viral videos, but here it is at the actual show. Golly, never mind the airplane. But this is the chariot. This may look funny and you may laugh at it, but this is the stuff that saves labor. On a big commercial property or a shopping mall, you think about that, what that saves. It's, uh, I think it has a ton of utility. I don't know if it's cost effective yet, but you get that in an, a battery powered version. Holy cow. Any, anytime, go ahead. You guys see us drive staples for ECM. Here's a machine that'll do it for you. Each one of those is driving a staple, so about a thousand bucks for that unit. Uh, and you buy, it's like a stapler, it works. So those pins hold down, you know, your ECM. Man, that's in there good too. Holy cow. But yeah, so there you go. Oh no, Britt, don't ruin your Sperry's. Brian's lawn maintenance is to have in Thursday at 11th. Actually, no, that's right now, isn't it? Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't realize that's right now. Man, good luck with that, guys. Holy crap. Meeting with some industry friends here for a quick lunch. Some good dudes here. At the Unilock booth, here we go. In just a few minutes, stop by, get a kid contractor t-shirt. Welcome to the Thunderdome. This is my local rep, he can't wait to leave. He's taking lunch as soon as this thing starts. <laughs> Check out this DJI 4K mini camera. This is a... Um, Kyla with Unilock, she's a big wig up there with the marketing and all that. Check out this tiny camera, isn't that sweet? That's a DJI, so. A quick thanks to everybody that came out. Our uh, kid contractor meetup was awesome, and uh, I would say a, a great success, great success. And we, uh, we gave away all our shirts like in a heartbeat, and I uh, got requests for more. We're gonna figure out how we can just sell those at cost, anybody that's interested here for a little while. Uh, we'll figure that out. Thank you again so much for the support. It means the world to me, truly, thank you. There's uh, the nice folks at uh, Pave Tool there, rolling a nice truck and uh, well brand. I like that uh, branding there, it's cool. So Britt and I are eating uh, barbecue at Louie's here, just down from Louisville Mega Cavern. We ate here last year. Now you may know our credentials or our criteria for good barbecue. We want the place to kind of be dumpy and not great. We want them to be good barbecuers, not good business people. And what have, would have impressed me even more about this barbecue place, because I love it, look at that burnt brisket, so you get some of that good smoky flavor on there. My God, I can't wait to eat that. Is what would impress me more is if these guys were out of business, because that would tell me they were really bad business people, really good barbecuers. So we're walking down to the mega cavern. Look at all those bagworms on those junipers. Oh, why I yada. Look at those stupid things. Ah. Here's a quick overview of the Louisville Mega Cavern uh, J.E. Rally event. Good morning, everybody. Last day of G-I-E-H-N-A. Uh, the, the YouTube panel was Stan Janik, uh, Keith Kalfas, bunch of dudes, I think Keith. Bunch of dudes. It's going to be really good. Stop and check it out. Uh, one of the ballrooms here. Check it out if you're here. That's going to be like my portrait we're going to put in the office. This is, uh, I want to say thank you to the GIE Expo for giving us this room and this opportunity. Stan, if you want to keep it general, then it's open form. So, we look like we've got a young lady here. Brit just admitted she got nervous talking to Keith Kalfas. Oh God! Don't! I'll do. I'll do my own Keith Kalfas here. I'm gonna fall. Down. We just left that YouTube panel. They'll do that next year because that was freaking awesome. If you missed that, you missed out. That was really was solid great. information. No charge. Yeah, that was solid. It was really good. So great job, uh, MC uh, Paul Jamison and 
Lawn Care rookie, Naylor Taliaferro. Great work, guys. That was solid, man. Great, great information, some cool training stuff that I'm going to take home to our company. There's that SK3000. That's one big mower. A big mower. <laughs> big machine. I talk about pain and suffering a lot. Walk behind aerators. Definitely pain and suffering. That's the way to do it right there. Walk behind aerators. Oh, no, thank you. All the digging going on out here, and we've got our utilities marked. All right. Which, obviously, they should. But. There's a robotic line paint sprayer. Those Geo Ripper, like, earth chainsaws. Really cool for putting in wiring and plumbing and lighting and stuff like that. This radius bit. I've been seeing it around here with all the cool kids. That is pretty cool. Here, vendors, all that stuff. The layout of this is poorly uh, described. Not enough signage to tell people to get back out here. But uh, this pavilion is way nicer than being in the tent, I believe. So they just need more signage out front. A Bluetooth or a wall switch that's next to the door. You can turn features on and off, start and stop uh, very effectively. And the ever controversial concrete edging for pavers or plastic or aluminum. Folks here at Perma Edge, they've got their display out. They've got, if you're curious on <coughs> installing concrete edging, they've got some great instructional videos on their YouTube channel. Even if you use just regular concrete, uh, check out their YouTube channel. Check out their product. I know guys that use it and love it. Um, we do use concrete edging, so we definitely uh, believe it's the way to go. We're at the fine folks at Unilock. Here's a system that I said they should do when your car first came out I said you should make metal panels for this that I can bolt into an existing concrete porch and they said we'll never do that so whatever but <laughs> but here is a, a modular system for this new car you can buy multiple faces for it and you hang it on there and so this is for pre-assembled grill grill islands columns which they're gonna be um, we're gonna be building one of those at our own house Miss Britt is YouTube video featuring only girls constructing it Woo, that's clickbait in it Ugh. But uh, that should be pretty cool. These are the concrete center segments you use. I'm not super sold in this system, but I've never used it before, so that's maybe me being unfair. But the panels that you can select are beautiful, and you can create all sorts of different aesthetics. They do it for larger retaining walls, seat walls, but here's one where they've got a GeoGrid inlay, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's a great display, by the way. Whoever came up with that, really good display. These basing units are really cool too, by the way. Great concept for helping level out and distribute out the weight. This is how you move the bigger block around with this piece that goes onto there. Um, only thing I don't like, there's a lot of small mechanical parts to that but hopefully that would hold up but our friends at poly sweep here now have a black sand so that's pretty sharp looking i like it that's it for the 2019 gie hna trade show look how long these aisles are they go forever it's such a big show but that's it till next year we'll accept con ag and con x in las vegas in march we're going to that, right, Britt? We just need a sponsor. sponsor. Any takers? <laughs> the thing about that SK3000 is how high that step is. It'd be, it's a real pain to step on and off of. One of the flaws of that machine, for sure. Operator comfort is stepping up on a high step. Not a fan of that. Here, uh, 79 bucks. how to install pavers. We're going to run that special through the weekend. Whether you're at the show or not, the um, how to install pavers.net. Swipe up to check it out. $20 off, 20% off. Uh, we're going to run that special through the weekend. How to install pavers.net. Swipe up, check it out. Thank you.